Disconnect the control cable assembly 30 from arm 34 of the N1 mixer box. Make sure the control tube 14 is connected to the second most forward hole on the clevis arm 5. Otherwise, do as follows. English 2 is very similar, only item numbers and locations differ. Caution, you must always do a rigging of engine control after engine installation, FMM replacement or any other engine control component. Remove the cotter pin 24, nut 23, washer 22 and bolt 21 to disconnect the control tube 9 from the bell crank assembly 20, discard cotter pin. Make sure the power lever arm 42 of the FMM is aligned with the slot at the fly position on the rigging plate. E. Set the arm 34 of the N1 mixer box to the lower, cut-off, position, then move the lever arm upward until there is contact with the fly stop on the N1 mixer box. F. Loosen the jam nut 31 of the control cable assembly 30 and adjust the cable length until you can connect the control cable assembly to the arm 34 of the N1 mixer box. Turn the rod end 35 as necessary to make the adjustment better. G. Tighten the jam nut 31. H. Connect the control cable assembly 30 to the arm 34 of the N1 mixer box. I. Turn the engine 1 twist grip 2 until the index mark is aligned with the fly mark on the switch box assembly 1. Increase the friction to hold the engine 1 twist grip in position. J. Loosen the jam nut 8 and turn the control tube 9 until you can connect the bell crank assembly 20. K. Put lock wire or equivalent through the witness hole in the control tube 9 and make sure the threads of the rod end are fully engaged in the control tube. If there is not, make sure the distance between the control tube and the center line of the rod end bearing is less than 1.80 inches. L. Connect control tube 9 to the bell crank assembly 20 with the bolt 21, washer 22, and nut 23. Tighten the nut and safety with a new cotter pin 24. M. Tighten the jam nut 8. Note, manual operation of the N1 mixer box solenoid will be required to bypass the idle and fly stops. N. Turn the engine 1 twist grip 2 through its full travel and make sure the power lever arm 42 of the FMM can contact the min and max stops on the N1 mixer box. O. If the power lever arm 42 of the FMM cannot contact the min and max stops on the N1 mixer box, Find what IS being contacted first. If the engine number 1, twist grip number 2, has run out of travel before contacting the min and max stops on the N1 mixer box, do as follows. 3. Remove the cotter pin 13, nut 12, washer 11, and bolt 14 from the clevis arm 5. Discard cotter pin. 4. Connect the control tube 14 to the most forward hole on the clevis arm 5 with the bolt 10, washer 11, and nut 12. Tighten the nut and safety with a new cotter pin 13. P. After adjustment, make sure the stops can be contacted and that rotation of the engine number 1 twist grip 2 has smooth travel throughout at full range. Note. A 1 8 Allen wrench is necessary to adjust the min and max stops on the N1 mixer box.